Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you have been following my channel regularly, you know that in the last few days we have covered few models which claimed that they could use long context, which means that they could process a lot of data while retaining the previously read stuff from the context. But it turned out that most of the models failed to pass that test when we use them with long documents. And I also saw that many of you people were also commenting that you were looking for a model or a way to get the long context from huge documents so that you could not only analyze them and without compromising quality and also making sure that the cost is not too high, you should be able to handle long documents. So in this video, I'm going to show you a hands-on way and a model to do the long context. The model which you can see on your screen is Jamba. We already have covered Jamba a lot on the channel by the way. So I'm not going to go into more detail about Jamba if you're interested in its architecture and information just search my channel but just to give you a very quick overview as what exactly is Jamba and why it handles long context so well is that look most of these LLMs which we reviewed in the last few weeks were transformer based. So when we say transformer based, it means that they were use, using attention mechanism where they take a sequence of tokens and then they find out the relationships of those tokens with each other. That is why as soon as your sequence of tokens increases, the performance of transformer decreases and it can have, uh, it cannot have a long context because then it just starts hallucinating. That is why researchers came up with another architecture of models which is MEMBA. MEMBA is a state space based model instead of transformer. It was able to handle long context with the help of some concept called as states which I already have covered on the channel in very simple words. It worked fine with long context but the problem was that it was very expensive and very slow so slow that it really almost became uh, unfeasible to do long context with the help of MABA. That is where AI21 lab came up with this model called as Jamba. Jamba is a hybrid model which means that it combines the pros and pluses of both transformer model and state space model or in other words whatever transformer model llama and all that stuff with the MABA model and then it came up with Jamba which resolves the slowness of the MABA model while increases the context length of transformer based model. So that is where this Jamba model came up. It comes in two flavors one is large the other one is mini still both mini and large are huge models and you can learn more about them as I said on my channel. It's a first production grade MEMBA based model built on SSM transformer hybrid architecture by the way. It has three times throughput on long context compared to such as Mixtrol. Uh, the context window or context length is around 256k which is huge really. And this is the only model in its size class that fits up to 140k context on a single GPU by the way. And Another cool thing, it is released under Apache 2 license. It is available on Hugging Face, it is available on um, NVIDIA's cloud, it is available on Amazon Bedrock and various other places. You can even get an API from A21 lab and you can use it from there. I will be using AWS Bedrock service. If you don't know what AWS Bedrock service is, it's a hosted service in Amazon cloud, which you can use to access a lot of models without having to install them and stuff of course you would need to have an aws account for that and access which you can also get it for free with a lot of credits if you don't have it already if you want to learn more about uh, aws bedrock just go to my channel and search with bedrock course i have done a full course on it under 20 minutes you should be able to get up and running with amazon bedrock so please do check it out uh, i think this is something which is a bit underrated uh, as far as course is concerned so and it will be very handy and you should be able to uh, go through it fairly easily and quickly so i'm assuming that you already have amazon bedrock configured which is very easy to do and then once you have amazon <clears throat> bedrock configured 
you would need to go to Amazon Bedrock in your AWS account. Then in Amazon Bedrock, just go to model access from the bottom. So you see if you scroll down, there is this model access, click on it. And then you need to uh, click on modify model access. From there, you will need to select these. You see, I already have access to this. It, it is just a matter of second where you get the access. Also, um, this Jamba model, these are not available in every region of AWS. I, I am in um, Sydney region, but it's not available there. So I have just gone with North Virginia or US East one region. If you don't know about AWS cloud, it is divided into multiple global regions. So every region has different pricing and different uh, requirements. So uh, I already have enabled the access. Once you have the access there, another thing I would highly suggest you do for every model uh, which you get access here is to just scroll up, go to model catalog. Once you will be in model catalog, you will be on the models page, which is Jamba in this case. Make sure that you grab this model ID because this is what you use in your Python code when you try to access it. So for the long context, what I have done, I have just gone in to Project Gutenberg and I got this one of the best books ever, I would say, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um, real, real good stuff, good read. So it's a huge book. So I just downloaded it in that plain text format. So the idea is that I will just give the whole book to a model and I will just ask one prompt because when you are doing long context, model has to read through everything and it has to remember everything. So it could be a problem like needle in the haystack where it has to find a small thing within the whole context or it has to read through everything and then summarize it. So that is where we would know if it is able to uh, do the long context or not. So this is what I already have downloaded. Right click and then download on your local system. So now this is all set. Let me take you to my VS code where I will show you the code, how you can use this Jamba model easily with Amazon Bedrock in your few lines of code. Okay, so this is my code. Now, before you run this code, make sure that you have Boto3 library installed. For that, all you need to do is to just run pip install Boto3. Boto3 is a Python SDK from to in order to access AWS services in your uh, code. Okay, so you see that I already have imported Boto3 and time. And by the way, I am timing it just to show you how long did it take to run this. I am just, so this is a war and peace book, which I am opening. And then I'm instantiating this Petrock client in US East 1, North Virginia region in AWS. And this is where I'm asking it that describe Prince Andre's relationship with his wife uh, lies and how it affects his action. So it's a very targeted specific question, which I am hoping that this model, which where I'm using model ID would be able to answer me. And then I'm just getting the response back, printing the execution time and printing it out. So let me run this. And there you go. So it has the execution time was just 12.55 seconds. And make remember that this is a API base. So it also we can include the you know API um, calls and response. Anyway, but look at the response that this is an it has given the whole context around it, and then the answer is totally amazing in the summary. This is really really good stuff. But there is a big problem with this text. Okay, so the problem is that we have specified the data, but we haven't really asked the model to consult that data for its context. So the answer which you see below has come from model's own intelligence. So how do we provide our own data to this model so that it would actually go in and only remain confined to our uh, context and then we will test it. So let me show you that code now. Now, if you look at this code, what is happening here is that I have again defined a system prompt and then you can just change it as you like, but I'm just asking it that read following text and from text describe the same question. And then I have given it this data here. And then I have just closed that prompt and then I am creating the system message. I am then passing this message here. And then I am getting the response back. Now the model will have the context. Now let me run it to see how long does it take and what sort of answer we get. 
and there you go took around just close to a minute in order to go through everything and then it has given us quite a grounded answer as you can see from uh, right from the uh, book so that is really really cool in terms of long context so if you're looking for a long context model maybe give this one a try and see how it goes and as i said you don't have to use aws in order to access it you can use it from ai21 labs or a lot of other providers which you can check from their website and i will drop the link to it in video's description i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and before i let you go let me also quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description thank you for watching